Come on in and take a load off as today I'll be unboxing and taking a first look at Penny Lane from Sparkworks. So come on, pull up a chair and let's get down to it. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yes, I'm Jeff McAleer, back once again as your host. Now, I do want to point out, normally I do my unboxings and reviews on my live weeknight stream right here on YouTube, The Daily Dope, which airs Mondays through Fridays at 7 p.m. Central. But I did receive some smaller footprint games both before Gen Con and during Gen Con, so I thought I'm going to take some time out to shoot some standalone videos for some of these smaller games. Now today, I'm taking a look at Penny Lane from Sparkworks. It's designed by Justin Blasky, taking a guess at that, and Mel Primus, with artwork provided by Dennis Martinitz. The game is for two to five players, ages 14 and up. I'll explain why it's ages 14 and up in just a moment. Plays in around 30 minutes, and it does carry an MSRP of $30. I do believe that this is available now or it will be available very shortly. So let's switch on over to the other camera. So this is Penny Lane and this looks pretty unique. I had an opportunity to take a peek at this at uh, Gen Con when I was chatting with uh, Brennan Noonan who is with uh, Tabletop Tycoon and Sparkworks is part of the Tabletop Tycoon family. So, like the artwork, it, this is kind of a, uh, I don't want to say worker placement, it's more like a money placement game. So it says, the lamps are lit and shops are open for business. In Penny Lane, players compete to build the most prosperous avenue in the city. Will you build a mask shop or perhaps a Penny Arcade? Will you favor wealth or a bustling workforce? With charming art and easy to learn rules, Penny Lane is sure to put a shine on your face every time you play. Okay, so right here it's got a warning. Small parts, not suitable for children zero to three years of age. This is gonna be why we see the 14 and up. Nothing about this game that I saw when uh, I was taking a peek at it at Gen Con led me to believe that you have to be 14 in order to play this. So we've got the rules here. So let's take a quick peek. Let's zoom in just a touch as well. Get a bit of a closer look. So we see the game setup, showing the starting game setup here. We've got Main Street cards, Penny Supply, Citizen Supply, Supply Deck, Building Supply, and the player start. So each player will get a start card. It looks like they get three pennies. So, talking about your lane with buildings, your lane, your player board, Main Street action locations, Main Street job locations. Aha, now we finally get into some rules. So, showing gameplay, we've got the action phase. So, we've got Main Street actions, uh, pass action, there's an upkeep phase. Talking about bonus links. So it says, player boards in most building cards have one or more bonus link icons on the sides of the cards. Through careful placement of cards on your lane, full penny and, I don't know, maybe those that's gold. Maybe, I don't know. Icons can be made. Then we got the final scoring. We've got some keywords. Talking about the Main Street cards in detail. So each of the Main Street cards are broken down, giving a little more information. Same with the building cards as well. And then we got the credits. So all in all, really, oh, about nine pages, ten pages of rules. But a lot of that is also taken up with these illustrations as well. So it looks like this game should be pretty easy to jump right on into. So there are the rules. So now we've got a punch board of pennies. So we got these little pennies here. It's kind of cool. I think they say Penny Lane on them. So that's cool. I like that. 
So that is the punch board there. Let's see what else we've got. We've got ah, a bunch of workers went flying out. So obviously we've got a bunch of worker meeples. And then we've got, is this like the mayor or something? So maybe this is the mayor. Maybe that's the mayor meeple. He's, he's actually wearing like a little medal. Like, jeez. Okay, so that's cool. So we got all these meeples. Uh, I wonder if they go in here. We got a cool little insert. I can tell. All right, let's see. Do we have enough space in here for all of these meeples? We're going to find out. Because it looks like the cards are going to go into this section here. Oh, yeah, pretty close. Pretty close here. Okay, so then we've got some decks of cards. We've got uh, a little baggie here. We've got some gold stars in here. So let's uh, let's open this up. So I'm going to take a guess. These are probably the player boards. So we've got Lover's Lane. We've got Drury Lane. Memory Lane. Jeez, ready for the... It's not Lois Lane, it's Louie Lane. Been funny if they, they had Lois Lane. And then we've got Slow Lane. So this is where each of the players are going to begin to build their avenues. And then we've got these gold stars, which I see we've got stars up there. Looks like we've got five of these. I would take a wild stab in the dark. You're probably going to mark right up here, right up top with this gold star. Uh, it's just a guess, but I do see there's little stars on them, so that would lead me to believe that we're utilizing that. So these are the player starting avenues. Look like they're all the same except for the name and the color of the buildings. So we got those. Then we got these cards here. All right, gonna have to be careful with the hobby knife to uh, try to get this plastic off here. There we go. So these are some of the some of the buildings. So we've got a black market. There we go. All right, the black market. We've got a Mason's Guild. We've got a bank. And as we can see on each of the cards, it's going to tell us what placing, I believe placing your pennies on here will gain you. Got a Gazette. I wouldn't be surprised if you're able to place your pennies on other people's streets or avenues as well. So we've got a Gazette, got the Temple, got a Town Hall, got a Barracks, and we've got a Tower. So we've got those. Now, I believe these buildings are ones that... Uh, I don't think these are the buildings that the players build. I think they're the smaller cards. I believe these are going to be the ones the players build. So... We may have a selection of different buildings that everybody can utilize during each game. So I wouldn't be surprised if we don't use all of these. So give you a little, little bit of variety with the buildings that are available uh, for all the players to utilize. Then we've got this smaller deck, which I believe these are going to be the buildings that the players build to create their avenues. All right, so... I like the artwork. Uh, I definitely dig the artwork. Uh, whoa, that's kind of weird. All of a sudden, all this, uh, all these little card residue from the trimming started popping off there. That's okay. All right, so let's see what we've got. So we've got an arboretum, we've got a bookshop cafe. I like the artwork. The artwork's cool. A cinema. I, I like how we've got little people like hanging out. A cobbler. Confectioners. Got a cottage. It looks like we got a few cottages here. 
Got a courtyard. Dark alley. Uh-oh. Dark alley must be where the uh, black market's located. So we got a dormitory. So we got a couple of those. We got some more trimmings coming off there. Engineer, farmer's co-op, fountain, a garage. Haunted house. <laughs> That's cool. We got some houses. Now we got some lofts. Luthier. We got a couple of, uh, I got a manor and a mansion. Got the mask shop, museum. There's the penny arcade. Pet shop. Smelter. Stationers. Tailor. A warehouse. Arcanum. Uh, I think it's possible. I'm not positive. But I think this is this might be the limited edition or like collector's edition of Penny Lane. Because I, th I think there's like some additional buildings that are in this. And I notice here it's showing like E, what is that, like ES or E5. And I don't see that on the other cards in the corner. So we've got a ballroom, builders, <laughs> condemned building, an estate, and mint factory. Which I want to say, uh, I believe the designer of, or designers of this game also designed, I think it's called Mint Factory. It's the game that actually comes like in a mint tin. That looks kind of neat. So yes, I think these six buildings were it. Looks like it. Yeah, I think these six buildings are, are special to this edition. So those are all the different buildings that the players construct. I like the fact that we, of course, we've got a few that are duplicates like houses and stuff, but uh, most of these buildings are all unique. I think that's cool, I like that. All right, so we've got all the meeples. We got the little, I, I think that's the mayor. I'm taking a guess that that's the mayor. So we've got that deck of cards there. Then we've got the larger deck of cards here. I was just double checking that they're the same. Ah, I wonder. I'm taking a guess we might change how these buildings uh, are utilized depending on the number of players. See, because we have the two here, but then we only have the one there. Okay, so we've got these buildings as well as these four buildings, I guess, remain the same no matter how many players are in the game. So we got those. Then we've got the big player cards as well. Oh, we got the stars. I guess I'll try to squeeze those stars in there. So we've got that. We've got the punch board of pennies. And we've got the rules. And that's what we find when we take everything from Penny Lane outside the box. This looks kind of neat. I uh, I dig uh, kind of like engine building games like this because that's what it looks like it is. It's You're basically building an engine to either um, utilize a, like a workforce or to make money. Anyway, I will have a review of Penny Lane in the very near future. Of course, it'll probably be featured on The Daily Dope. So don't forget to catch me live here on YouTube with The Daily Dope, Mondays through Fridays at 7 p.m. Central. Like I always tend to say when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. By now you know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. Once again, I'm Jeff McAleer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back next time. And until then... Happy trails.